What's going on YouTube? I'm Real Divine here. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button, turn notification bell on to join the Divine Army. You know, I post tons of awesome Apex Legends tutorials, montages, funny moments, and so much more. If you guys do enjoy the video, please, please, please make sure to leave a like. Helps me more than you guys know. Alright, that's enough introduction. Let's get straight into the video. This one is rapping, oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping, oh my god. What's up, everybody? Unreal Divine here. Hope everyone's having a dope day. Shout out to all the soldiers down below. That's everybody who subscribed to me and became a part of the Divine Army. Appreciate the love and support you guys continue to show. Road to 2K, we are so close. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button. Every subscribe helps. So help me reach a huge milestone of mine. Um, and with that being said, let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, so today I'm bringing back a series on my channel that you guys really seem to like, and that is the Tips and Tricks series. Um, you know, I like to bring you guys some tips and tricks to help you improve your gameplay and get better at the game. And, you know, Season 6 just dropped. There's a bunch of changes and a lot of new stuff um, going on with the season. So I thought today would be the perfect time and opportunity to bring you guys some tips and tricks for Season 6 specifically. Um, so today's video, I'm bringing you guys 5 Season 6 Pro Tips and Tricks. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so these tips don't have no specific ordering or anything. These are some really good tips that I want you guys to use and implement to your gameplay. That's going to help you, you know, improve as a player. Um, and, you know, just some useful things for Season 6 specifically that you guys might not um, be aware of. So the first thing I got for you guys involves Rampart, the new okay. legend. If you guys aren't aware, you know, her, her shields and her, her shields that she put, uh, puts out and everything are really annoying once they're set. But if you guys aren't aware, you can actually destroy the shield while they're being constructed and they don't have any armor. I think this only has like 15 damage if you shoot it while it's being constructed. So the first tip I got for you guys, if you guys see a rampart setting up any of those shields, shoot the base of it instantly and you guys will instantly destroy it and it won't have time to set up the shield and have armor and everything. So that's a great tip, you know, to, uh, you know, kind of prevent a rampart from setting up early. Okay, moving on to tip number two. This actually involves Rampart Shield again. If you guys don't get the opportunity to shoot her base while it's being constructed, you know, to, you know, throw her off and everything, um, and her shields are constructed, I want you guys to be aware that the top half of the shield has 180 um, health, and the bottom has a total of 400. Um, the metal part so if you guys you, you can actually destroy the top half separately from the bottom part so if you guys are in the position where you know the rampart set up her shield and everything i want you guys to you know try to use a weapon that can destroy the top half 180 damage very quickly and that way you guys can you know one you will throw them off guard um they won't be suspecting that a lot of times um two it would destroy their their shield so they can't um you know be covered anymore they also lose that damage which they're also getting so it's very very useful and then on top of that you can also a lot of times if you have like a spitfire you have good accuracy or like a flat line or something you can destroy that shield very quickly get damage on them and even get a knock and it throws them off guard a lot um so yeah that, those are very useful make sure to shoot the top half um, because it only has 180 damage those break separately um but also if you guys can break the bottom part it has 400 damage um it would remove the entire structure um i recommend throwing grenades and stuff like that unless there's a watson over there um and if that's the case again i, I really strongly recommend shooting the top half and i'll show you guys in the clip of me doing exactly just this how you throw enemies off um off guard and how you guys can do them easy knocks doing that okay moving on to tip number three this actually involves crypto um if you guys aren't aware crypto had a few changes his drone actually can now use survey beacon so you can actually just drive his server his drone up to a survey beacon and use it also his drone can also revive teammates now that's very dope um i think this is a very dope addition to um, crypto i like how they're changing them up a little bit making them a little more useful but with the one thing they did change that really really strongly affects him as well is his emp now affects teammates as well so keep that in mind in consideration when you are using crypto but I do like these changes that you can revive your teammates and you can also use a survey beacon just using crypto. Um, I think it just adds a, lot of, um, a little more versatile play to them. Okay, so tip number four is something that I'm very, very excited for. They brought a weapon of mine back, or not brought it back, but they buffed a weapon of mine back. Um, 
something that I really, really love, and that is the triple take. The Noggin Knocker 3000. I love this weapon. Season 1, Season 2, I really, really love the triple take. And, you know, they, they nerfed it, and they didn't have me giving it much love until Season 6 now. They brought it back. They gave it a nerf. And what they did is they, you know, they put in a built-in precision choke with the triple take. And they also, I believe, they buffed the damage um, slightly. So now the triple take is back in action. It's, 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 it's a viable weapon now. Um, and I love using it. It's very fun to use because, you know, it's, it can be used as a sniper. It's very, very strong as a sniper. You can really smack people. You can headshots, um, do damage long distance. But also, if you guys, you know, real close quarters, you need a weapon real quick, you can pull out that triple take and use it as a shotgun. It's a versatile weapon. I really, really love the triple take and how strong it is, especially with this built-in precision choke. I really love it. Hopefully, I got some montages and some, some, um, some clip stuff coming for you guys with this weapon. And yeah, that's tip number four. The triple take is back, baby. So make sure you guys try the tip triple take. And with the triple take, I forgot to mention that they also increased the um, ammo capacity of sniper ammo. So now you can ca uh, carry larger stacks of ammo in your inventory. So that also just boosts the triple take because it's a sniper um, even more. So yeah, I just wanted to add that for you guys. And let's move straight into the last tip, tip number five. Okay, so the last tip I got for you guys is kind of a combination of information, you know, involving the weapons for Season 6. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the Prowler. The Prowler burst got a buff, and what they did is they reduced the recoil on the burst, um, so it makes it a much more useful weapon now, especially now you can use it for burst and um, with the select fire. Um, it makes it a very versatile weapon. I think it's very, very strong. Season 5, I liked it with the burst, but now Season 6, it is very, very strong. I'll show you guys in a clip of me doing some nasty things with it. I really like the Prowler now. Um, also, I want to mention some of the best weapons for Season 6, because um, the Prowler is a very, very strong, useful weapon now. I want to talk about some of the best weapons for Season 6 specifically because this is a Season 6 tip and tricks tips and tricks video um some of the weapons i really recommend for you guys to use for uh season six is the vault the vault is amazing i really love this weapon that they added um rip r99 um i don't want to talk about that in this video <laughs> the triple take is back baby you know we mentioned that tip number four the hemlock has got all oh, the hemlock is nasty again the hemlock is nasty so i really guys want you to try that out um and you know they brought back the turbo charger and um hemlock and the devotion so you know those are always very strong weapons Weapons. you know I think they um, nerfed it a little bit but you know those are very always very very strong weapons and so yeah I don't want to make this video too too long with all these tips and tricks I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys found this video useful in any way please make sure to leave a like helps me so so much with the YouTube algorithm push me up there I'm um, also if you guys are new to the channel make sure to smack the subscribe button roll to 2,000 subs we are so 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 close every sub, every sub helps um, so please help me reach a huge milestone and with that being said I'll keep you guys in my next video I'm I'm out of here. Peace. Well, not heaven, my way. I'm on a plane, heaven, my way. I'm in these forests, heaven, my way. Calling the money, just heaven, my way. Heaven, my way, heaven, my way. Curry, these women, just heaven, my way. I'm at the Gucci store, heaven, my way. Flexing on niggas, just heaven, my way. This heaven, my way, this heaven, my way. Hit up your body, make you all I'm safe. I got the key to the motherfucking safe.